Alright guys, it is me here, Mac once again with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay and today we do have a top 5 countdown for the top 5 bows in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now, if you didn't already know, there are 5 bows under Eisendrack. Basically guys, this countdown is going to be a top 5 of the kind of, the best ones to use, not necessarily, they're like, it's really hard to pick an actual best for this, but... I mean, realistically, these are the best ones you can pick. But anyway, guys, coming in at number 5, we do have the Wrath of the Ancients. Now, the Wrath of, Wrath of the Ancients is probably one of the most useful ones. I mean, on, you, you, you do need this to get the higher, to get the more upgraded bows. Like, it's it's kind of essential. But anyway, this gun is going up until around 15, 17, because it starts making crawlers around about then, and it's really not that great. But before then, it is a powerhouse. Like, I mean, it'll kill everything. It's a, it's a wonder weapon, pretty much. But past that it's really not that great if you don't have your upgraded bows by round 15 or 17 like you're gonna want to rethink your strategy because you do really really need them by that point uh, they're kind of essential and to get to high rounds you do 100% need at least the lightning bow and the skull crusher bow but anyway guys coming at number four we do have the magma bow the fire bow the lava bow whatever you want to call it. it it sucks i hate it it's, it's really not that great it's 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 people call it underrated and stuff all the time, but it really just sucks. It's it's quite terrible. Like the upgrade quest for it is long and arduous. There's too much stuff to do. Like you have to be so accurate going over the bounce pads with, you know, like the getting the arrows into the holes and then doing the fireplaces, filling the souls. It it just takes way too long. It's really not worth it unless you have a fourth player that is really stuck for an upgraded bow. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend getting this. Just play with three players and you'll be sorted. Like there's no point in getting this bow. It's the charge shot on it is pretty good, but other than that, it's really not that great. Anyway guys, in at number 3 we do have the wolf bow. Now the wolf bow is actually probably one of my favourite bows. I do often end up being stuck with this one even though I don't really know how to do the upgrade quest for it. I kind of just wing it. Uh, that's what it used to anyway. I kind of know how to do it now but anyway. This bow is actually pretty good. I do quite like this. Uh, in the later rounds it's not as useful because the charge shot on it. While knocking back a shit ton of zombies like you can lay out entire hordes of zombies with the charge shot on this bow. It does create a lot of crawlers when you use the not charge shot. Uh, this is kind of good if you want to slow down the gameplay a little bit, maybe get away if you're really stuck. The charge shot can be use very useful, but also just the single shot can be as well because it does create a shit ton of slow zombies and crawlers. It is good, but I mean there are better bows out there, namely the lightning bow of Skull Crusher. In at number two, we do have the lightning bow. Now, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this because the lightning bow is everyone's favorite. Everyone's like, oh my god, lightning bow is the best bow in the game. No, I, I don't agree with this at all. I th Personally, I 100% believe that the lightning bow is number two and you will see why. Now, the lightning bow is granted an extremely good bow. There isn't really that much you have to do for it. The upgrade quest is actually quite easy. It's really just accuracy with lighting the fires, which can be done very easy because you can use kind of the, the scenery and the landscape as markers. But anyway, this uh, this bow is extremely good. I mean, with the charge shot, you can hold up the panzer like the death ray does. And basically, guys, if you're stuck, charge the shot at the ground. If you want to revive someone, charge the shot at the ground. It makes a huge fucking tornado with lots of lightning and shit. And then it just kind of revives everyone because no zombie can get near you. So you can just go and revive your teammates. But it's very, very good. Make sure if you're going for higher ends either solo or with a team that at least one person has this like it's so essential you really do need this but bear with me guys number one is the skull crusher bow now obviously nobody nobody's going to agree with me on this but i love the skull crusher bow it is my favorite bow and definitely the one i do best with the skull crusher bow is definitely my just my favorite bow it's so good the charge shot on this is amazing you fire that charge shot into a massive horde of zombies and it just loads of skulls come out of the sky it's just like eating their faces and it's just so handy because it does actually stall the entire horde when the, those skulls are out. Because it does open the demon portal. That's also another thing the skull crusher bow is called, you know, the, the, the demon portal bow or whatever like that. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, this bow is insane. It's definitely my favorite bow, like without a doubt. It's just so, so good. If you want to slow down gameplay, it's perfect. If you're just stuck, like, also the uh, the blast on it is, is bigger than other bows. It doesn't have the same effect. That the lightning bow single shot does but this bow is extremely good and it is 100% my favorite bow in der Eisendrack without a shadow of a doubt this is the one I always try and use if someone hasn't already taken it and the upgrade quest is actually quite easy for it it's really just getting it done as early as possible because you do have to get that initial knife kill which is kind of annoying because if you leave it to a later round you're gonna have to get the bowie knife to get that knife kill and also in terms of doing the crawlers there's always some dickhead who goes into the void room and just decides to kill all your crawlers but other other than that, it's it's an amazing bow. It's definitely my favorite bow. It has amazing power, amazing everything. It's just so good. 
Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share if you have your own opinions, which I'm sure you will because you'll just say that the lightning bow is better. But anyway, <laughs> if you have any opinions of your own, make sure you go and put them in the comment section below and make sure you drop a like or a subscribe if you feel up to it or if you enjoyed the video in any way, shape or form. But anyway guys, that is going to be it for me, Hitman. I will see you in the next video guys. As always, I have been Hitman. Hitman, out. See you guys. Together we're invincible